thermoplastics or plastics, uh, polymeric materials like this one, that when it's soft can be molded or shaped, and when it hardened can keep the shape. So those are different polymeric materials that uh, will produce plastics or thermoplastics with different properties. It depends what you want, you use a different polymeric materials. We can increase the sustainability of thermoplastics by blending them with a lignin, which is a natural polymer. And when we mix the different polymers with a lignin, we get a different, a different thermoplastic material. And uh, it depends how we do the formulation, we get the thermoplastics that have different properties. And what we normally do, so we do testing species. And for example, these are lignins with different uh, um, polymers. And we test this for properties and we see where we will apply that. So then on all these steps, we can come from different polymers and we can make uh, new things. For example, this uh, is made with one of our partners and this is a headphone made from lignin in a polymer that is ABS. And it's beautiful. It's brown and looks like uh, made of wood and it's made of lignin. Um, thinking about if thermoplastics can contribute or be beneficial for a sustainable future, the answer is definitely yes. Uh, we are surrounded by plastics in our life. They are inexpensive, they are versatile and used in many different applications. How can be sustainable? I see two routes and they can go parallel, but they can go together. And one of them is recyclability. Plastics can be recycled and they can be made in different materials. So this brings sustainability. Another sustainability um, aspect is uh, substituting the fossil-based materials that are used for plastics uh, by renewable materials. And one of these materials is lignin. Lignin is the second most abundant natural polymers and it can be used uh, in improve the sustainability of the plastics by decreasing the dependence to fossil-based materials.